G'day guys, welcome back to the Rugby League Guru Podcast. We've got our round 18 team list that have just dropped. We're going to get stuck into them now and give our live reaction. I'll give you the hot tip. We've had a very big day in the CBA Centre oh of Excellence. Goodness. We're hanging on by a Rugby League thread at the <laughs> moment. Kat, how are we? And be honest. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask for honesty yeah, with don't that ask question. For I've been awake for over 13 hours. Yeah. And I feel every hour right now. <laughs> yeah, she needs a stiff drink, Catman do. It's uh it's been a tough we knock. Have pulled out a drink for this TLT. We're, we're not far off. Yeah. Had I not smashed that bottle of bourbon three days ago. Shout out to the studio of smelling like bourbon, by the way. Good mm. times, good times. Cat, Thursday night, Combank Stadium. I'm going to be out there for this one. It's your team it's versus the Parramatta Eels, not the Canterbury Bulldogs for those playing at home. It's the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Oh, Cats team. Wow. Bunnies, Eels, Combank Stadium. I just did your job for you. <laughs> I apologise for that. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Uh, so I'll take it away from here. Thursday night, Combank Stadium. Eels, uh, we've got Jake <laughs> Tago, who's uh, Isaac – Jake Tungo, sorry. Who's Isaac Tungo's brother actually making his debut in this game. I believe he's the older brother as well, so a good little journey there. Uh, Ryan Madison's on the edge. Sean Lane, he's been named in Jersey 13. I think that's a little win for you super coaches out there that have Sean Lane. Uh, Joe Offengawi on the bench and Matt Dury also joining the bench there. For the Bunnies, interesting. Cam Murray's actually been named on the edge. Keon Collum and Tungy named in 13. Now, Jai Arrow is playing the next two games and he's hitting the road to get surgery. Will Keon move to the edge after that? Will it be a Jacob Host or someone? I don't know. We'll talk more about it with the great Tim Williams tomorrow about Supercoach, but I'm a little bit worried about where Keon's spot mm. will be. For me, it'll be as a middle forward, but I'm not quite sure what they're going to do. I'm now going to utilise you to do your actual job, Kat. What's next? It would be a pleasure to jump yeah. in here. Well, we're, in, we're on Friday now. Friday the 5th of July at 6pm. The Titans will be visiting the Sharks at Shark Park. Not at Shark Park, at Coffs Harbour. We got close there Harbor. though. Not bad. <laughs> Sharkies. Uh, I think they've got a little thing with Coffs Harbour. They've been there for a few years. I said it at the start, it's been a long day <laughs> and it's only getting longer. Uh, for the Sharkies, Atkinson jumps on the wing. Katoa out of this one. No other big changes for the Sharkies. For the Titans, Randall at 13. AJ Brimson returns at 5'8". Great to see AJ back in the NRL. Jojo on the wing. Sammy in the centres. No major changes for the Titans. What's the late game, Katmando? Oh, grand final replay. <laughs> Oh, Love you, it. You talk. That was going to be my hook. Sorry, I now apologize. I don't, now I hook away. Yeah, I don't look creative anymore, but it is a grand final rematch. We yeah. have the Broncos and the Panthers, 8 p.m. at Suncorp Stadium. For the Bronx, all the Origin players return. Reese Walsh returns. Payne Haas returns. Paddy Carrigan returns as well. A change in the centres. Dean Mariner moves into the centres. Katoni Staggs out of this one. Uh, we saw somewhere Cat for personal reasons. I believe he's attending a funeral, mm -hmm. Katoni. So we want to wish uh, Katoni all the very best there. Uh, coming off the bench, you've got Xavier Willison who returns there, who had a really good game last week. But also one to note for your super coach players. Carapani still on the bench. Not ideal for all of you out there. Hopefully he can get around 19 spot if someone combo plays origin but uh nervous times out there for all you super catch players for the panthers uh no troubles here they are the origin boys come back in but outside of that there are no major changes for the Penrith panthers still no sign of nathan cleary uh i'm hearing you'll see him on an extended bench next week cat whether he plays or not i don't know they've got the bye the week after so surely they just mm. wait till after the bye uh but keep an eye on Round 19 team list, Nath Cleary. Do they play in round 19? Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. I think you'll see him on the team list soon is what I've been okay. told. Okay. Glad that's over. Take us away, Kat. And that's the biggest takeout. Then we have my second team, Bulldogs versus the Warriors. This one is Saturday, 3 p.m. at a core stadium. Yeah, uh, pretty short and sharp here, to be honest with you. The Warriors, no real changes. Uh, a couple of changes, like, within their team of who's playing where. Toya Harris back to 13, et cetera, et cetera. But they're essentially 1-17, to 17 as they were last week. Nothing big there. For the Doggies, very similar. 1-17, to 17, pretty much. A couple of positional changes within there. Uh, Curran, obviously, on the bench. He played a lot on the edge last week. Uh, but the big one for the Bulldogs is that Connor Tracy returns. Uh, a very big in for the Canterbury Bulldogs. They're obviously missing him last week. Uh, I think their attack did suffer a little bit. You had Kiraz, who jumped into fullback uh, for the majority of this game. I love Kiraz as a footballer. I personally don't think he's a fullback. I think he's back on the wing this week, which is his best spot there. Still no sign of Jacob Preston. We're hoping to see his name pop up this week. He's not there. Skelton has dropped out of the side, obviously. Uh, and Kurt Mann, he returns in Jersey 14. I'll tell you what, Kat, for a game with no changes, I certainly got some words out of it. 
That's your Canterbury Bulldogs side yeah. for this week. What's next? Nothing short and sweet about that one. No. No. Okay, then we have the West Tigers versus Storm. This one is at Leichhardt Oval, 5.30 p.m. on Saturday. Beautiful. Tigers, Fata Ape in the centres. Charlie Staines on the wing. Bateman on the edge. Ruben Porter for you Supercoach players. He jumps into jersey 18, so becomes a bit of enough for us, which I'm okay with. Uh, for the Melbourne Storm, Ryan Pappenhausen named at fullback. Now, I'll be honest with you. Listening to Craig Bellamy's press conference, either something has changed massively with Pappy over the last few days or I don't think he's playing. I think they might be mm. playing ducks and drapes here. So we'll see as the week goes on. Something might have changed. But Craig Bellamy, to me, Kat, he sounded far from confident when talking about Pappy and his chances for this weekend. So we'll see how that plays out. <coughs> uh, but Pappy has been named at fullback. Kane Bradley named on the wing. The big one here, though, no Harry Grant in this side. Uh, Garlic did a great impersonation of Cameron Smith last week. I thought he was tremendous. They've decided to give Harry Grant an extra spell. I assume he's all good for origin. Uh, but the Melbourne Storm, they're at the top of the ladder. Harry Grant's got a game three coming up. I think this kind of makes sense. I think it's a good play by Craig yeah. Bellamy. Yeah. Um, the cow uh, going up against the Tigers, obviously. It's at Leichhardt Oval, so not ideal. Uh, but I think they will back themselves with all these other stars to knock over the West Tigers there. Uh, and Sua Falongo, if Pappy plays, which he's been named at the moment, that moves Sua to the bench. Late game, Saturday night, man, do. What do we got? Late game Saturday night. This one is up at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. The Seagulls will be joining the Cowboys up there. For the Cowboys, uh, the Origin boys, they return in this game. No major changes outside of that. Just all those guys slide into their usual positions. For the Manly Seagulls, uh, a handy centre returns who is normally a fullback, Tom Travojevic, a big, big in for the Manly Seagulls. Turbo jumps in at centre, which means Cola goes to fullback, which means Lehi Hopawade goes to jersey 14. I'll tell you what, I've questioned a lot of things Seabold's done over the years, Kat. Mm -hmm. I understand him bringing Turbo at centre, but if – if Cola was going to be your fullback once Turbo's there, why the hell wouldn't he have played fullback the last few weeks? Especially considering considering Hopperwater hasn't played badly either. No, he's played great. He's yeah, played that's, sensational. That's what I, just, I don't understand. That, that makes no sense. For me, the thing that would make the most sense is get over Ruben Garrick having to be a centre. He's a great winger. Play him on the wing and probably drop one of the other two. I just mm. – I don't know. I, I just can't really make sense of it if you're – because now, like you showed your hand a few weeks ago – Turbo's our first choice fullback, or he was. Mm. Now he's a centre. And now our first choice fullback for a month after Tommy Turbo was Leo Ipawade, but now it's Kola. So would you rather have seen Garrick replace Saab or Talau? Probably. I just like, like if you, if Lehi Ipawade, like if Kola is the best guy to play fullback, mm. why wasn't he there three or four weeks ago? I don't no, know. I I just, it just point. seems strange to me that Lehi Ipawade is our guy. He does really well for us. Turbo comes back in and he – I can understand Turbo playing centre. I get that 100%. But then surely one of your centres misses out or one of your wingers falls out. I, I just find it strange to change the whole game plan around fullback. Yeah, I think those wing wing and centre spots seem to be more fixed for for Seabold because that fullback position has changed the most this year, I think. Yeah, and I just – and personally, I don't think either of the fullback – either of the wingers deserve to get dropped because they've been playing great footy. But it just makes no sense mm. to me that you – anyway. Yeah. No, I It's another I fight for another day. I just think it's very strange. Um, Do you want to move on? Yeah, and also obviously for the Manly Seagulls, the Origin boys return. DC Olakowatu, Jake Trevojevic. Uh, sorry about that little Anthony Seabold spat there. Not personal. Just trying to make sense of it. Leave me in the comments if you can make sense of it. I just think it's odd. Sunday, what do we got? Well, we have Roosters versus Dragons. This one – you know, a bit of an iconic matchup, these two. This is happening Sunday, 2 p.m. at Allianz Stadium. Roosters, Jennings returns at centre. Obviously, Joey Manu out with an injury. I thought we'd see Ethan King make his debut. I've said it for three weeks in a row. Uh, he seems to be picking everyone <coughs> not named Ethan King at the moment. So I feel a little bit sorry for him, but Jennings comes back in. Outside of that, no real changes for the Sydney Roosters. For the Dragons, Zach Lomax returns off the back of a very, very good win last week. The Dragons getting their superstar in Lomax back. A huge in there. Cat, last game of the week. What do we got? Last game of the week, a great way to just tie a little oh. tie a little bow on what's going to be an amazing weekend of football. We have the Raiders versus the Knights. This one is Sunday 4.05 at GIO Stadium. Now, the Raiders, they're doing fuck all. They're the same. 1-17, to 17, nothing doing. KO Week's named at fullback where he played last week. No changes. No Jamal Fogarty. No, nothing happening here. The Newcastle Knights, though, my God. Caelan Ponga. 
named. Will he play or not? I don't know just yet. I know that up until last week, KP hadn't done any reps with the team. He had just been running. There was rumours of him returning. You would have to assume that if he's been named, he will return. All of us that brought Fletcher Sharp, this really hurts. The one positive, the one silver lining here, Kat, mm. is that Cameron Ponga returns, which means that Fletcher Sharp's not playing fullback. Phoenix Crossland got a HIA over the weekend. So what that meant is that Phoenix Crossland misses this game. Jaden Braley starts at nine, leaves a spot in Jersey 14, which Fletcher Sharp has been named in. So if you are a Sharp owner, he will still make money this week, which is a nice little bonus for us. I think he made about 120K over last weekend. He's got a break even of minus 36. Hopefully he can come on and create something. Probably not a playable option this week, but he will score points for us. The beauty of it as well, KP, if he does play this week, he's got a very high break even. Hopefully he drops a little bit of Bicky this week and then we can go Fletcher Sharp straight to KP. That's my plan. This is not ideal, but it's not the worst case scenario. At least he's going to play this week and we'll get some points. Dylan Lucas also returns. He's in Jersey 17 with Kai Pierce Paul remaining in the start starting side. I almost died on the spot. Uh, Blake Braley. Uh, Blake Braley. Jaden Braley, we've got to end this, Kat. We've got to end this. <laughs> this has just been the toughest knock of all time. Jaden Braley's at nine. Uh, Caelan Ponga back is the big news there. Uh, guys, tomorrow night, 6 p.m., rugbyleagueguru.com.au. We're going to have our beers and break-evens hats dropping. If you're a super coach player, you'll see it there a little bit later tonight. We have got the catch-up episode featuring Jamie Soward, who joins us. Um, we had a couple of technical difficulties with that episode, which has caused us great butt fuckery today, <laughs> which has been a huge knock, uh, but it has been fun to come out the other side, Kat. Yeah. And if you don't cry... You'll laugh, won't you? If you don't and laugh, you'll cry. Versa. Other way around. Fuck <laughs> this. We done? 7 p.m. Catch up. Jamie Soward, one of the all-time greats. See you there.